We're back again. I think I'm going to call it, this is episode one of season two of the Thoughts and Friends podcast. What do you, how do you guys like that? I like that. Um, I was thinking seasons as well. You know, um, the first you know season how... was like almost two years long, but you know, this is season <laughs> I think two. I would like to pitch to the crowd. Maybe this is season three. I would say much sure. like, think of it as like the Steve Carell years of the office. Like that's Bobby in this situation. Not to get a big head here, but. So we she's had Will Ferrell own... in this situation? Is that what you're saying? No, in reverse. <laughs> she came in later. We had our own th- season first, and then season two introduced yeah, that's true. Bob. And when now it was maybe the two of three. us, it was the British version. Oh. oh. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Kind of different. So you're saying I just made it slightly thing. worse? Um, I've never watched the British version. Ricky me Gervais either. bothers says... the shit out of me, so I don't really oh. want to watch it. But... uh. I get uh, he's that. kind of insufferable. He seems like a bit of a, a bit of a twat, as the Brits yeah, say, if you will. Yeah. Okay. Well, regardless, new season, season debut. I think that's a good way to go about it. We're back. I do too. We're a little hiatus. A little hiatus. Bobby was on the move, making moves in her life. New house, yeah. new life. New, new house, new life, new me. New lavender I walls. I am. I go to church now. Um, what else? Where do you where you do? Is that is that a bit? No shot. That's that's true. a bit. That's a bit. Okay. No I don't know. Come I don't on. Know. Your life's different. You know, people people change. Yeah, people I moved in. Now I'm yeah, just like, oh, I'm going Pentecostal. Um, Let's no. see the skirt. Skirt reveal. <sighs> Damn, you wish. No, the move was good. Um, kind of underestimated i think just how much stuff that we had we still don't have a ton of stuff every time it was it was tough but i will say the best thing that i ever fucking did was i hired the wrestling team so you did that okay good nice in lebanon um we obviously have mckendra university here the wrestlers are constantly doing things around town fucking hired those little buddies i've never seen people move so swiftly and just like it was no problem best thing ever love that love that best there's no better dollars we've ever spent movers the best investment ever ever yeah. i was gonna ask what's the going rate for a strapping young lad it was insane so we had two guys and it was supposed to be 160 total for them to move as much as they could in two and a half hours they got it done in 45 minutes and then i like didn't have anything else for them to do so i was like i mean you guys are good to go i guess i mean i don't know what else to talk about but it was great uh we also have stairs we've never had stairs before so that was like didn't really take that into account for moving a bunch of shit but it is what it is Little to no hiccups. Ah, Show. Brody, I see me in the back of your... How cute. Wow. That's that's a good eye that you can... What a call out. I didn't even see that was a picture. Damn, that's a girl who has... That's a girl who has poured time over those those wedding photos. <laughs> well, and I had to hand write, you know, a fuck ton thank you cards. Even though they were super late, we still got them out. We got them out before the move. So that was like my big goal. Nice. So yeah. All right. No horror um, stories. It all went all went off well. Yeah. I mean, it all Did went you make really something well. up just to make it for better podcasting? Yeah. Like let's Okay, come well, up I will say we moved in uh Wi-Fi immediately. Did not work. We didn't get Wi-Fi until today, so went about a week without it. No big deal, though, because Who Tommy's mom lives across the street. We bummed off her Wi-Fi. It worked Hell at yeah. our house, which was fucking really? awesome. Really? Wow, that's some range. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, And then we moved our washer and dryer all the way here just to realize that it's actually not electric for the mm. washing thing, so we had to get new uh, a new dryer, which is actually where Tommy is right now. Those um, are cheap. yeah, you know, we're very blessed. My parents, that was their housewarming gift for us. Nice. I don't know what else. That is uh, Tommy okay. went and picked a few apples. We have an apple tree now. So no kidding. that's kind of nice. You're the whitest Hair people tree. alive. Just, just an all American lifestyle you're mm-hmm. living. When are really you great. putting in the picket fence? 
Yeah. You know, I don't know if we will need a picket fence. You know, we've got everything else that Americans need. So, um, is there an apple I don't pie know in the window sill? Is there, so right now you're, you have all the stuff in, you're set up. Mm-hmm. Is there a list? I assume there's a list. What are we doing? Fuck. What are we modifying? What so do we got? today, how much, how much paint? So much paint. Okay. So this room is tame. The other room that's our guest bedroom is like this color pink and bright blue. So looks like a gender reveal in there. Um, I did have someone come out today to quote us to paint our master bedroom. Any guesses on that? Uh, Master bedroom and bathroom too, or just bedroom? Just bedroom. Um. Five hundred dollars, four hundred bucks, four fifty. Add a thousand. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What are so, they? I mean, it's a big that room. Seems, that seems like that can't be worth that much money, though. Damn. I Damn. don't know. I like they have to have scaffolding and stuff because it's like taller ceilings and it's like wood, mm. and so they have to do all these things. So I mean, whatever. I mean, I'm going to fucking pay it because there ain't no way I'm painting that room. There's just like, it would be impossible for me to do that. It would take me forever. Um, And then I started to do a bunch of paint samples on our living room today. And I also put paint stripper on our fireplace. So that's currently marinating. And then tonight I'm just going to really go at it with like Mm. a scraper tool to see if how much paint I can get off because there's probably like five to seven layers of paint on that bitch yeah real thick um thick like like its owners you know some some caked up makeup on on a young lady's face just not what you want to see no but yeah not not much horror stories going on i mean the day that we moved in they excavated like half of our yard to try to reconnect the electric to like the third like the detached garage but i was like i mean I'm not paying don't, for it, so it's don't fine. have to mow. Don't have to mow that area. Fuck it. Right, right. So, so far, so good. Hopefully, we can have a little shindig here soon. We have a big yard, so I'm thinking like a little yard games, beer Olympics type of vibe, maybe in the spring. Okay. But we'll okay. see. Well, I wish there were more stories, but I'm I glad it's for your sake that there are not. So. I'm not. I really, at least one thing, at least one bad thing, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, lost family heirloom. Yeah. You know, oh, you know what? We did lose a family heirloom. We need to. Well, okay. But I, I don't want to, I don't want my mom to hear. I mean, I don't think she listens, but, um, I forgot that we had an attic at the old house because we like never put anything up there. And I think the only thing up there was like my mom's like fucking childhood sled that I used as like Christmas decorations. And that is gone. So I might have to be on the prowl. Yeah, I forgot we had an attic. So I like just fucking left it in the attic. I mean, Mm, I'm sure I could like go there, but like that would be so weird. No, that's so fucking weird. It's an heirloom. Um, Come on. I don't know. I'll probably just scour some thrift shops and try to find something that looks yeah. similar and call it a day. Um, yeah, we're good. Bruce, nice. Bruce Happy has been loving the steps. She's just going up and down constantly. So get some of that energy out. That's good. Yeah. What's new with you boys? Love that. Fuck. I've been, I don't know. I've been not doing anything. I've been in kind of a funk lately, to be honest. I've been a little you depressed. Come over. I don't really know. I don't really mm-hmm. know why. Yeah, I probably should. I probably should. Just been just been, you know, home bodied up. Fucking I feel like I feel like with the transitions of the seasons, it's kind of a good time to like try to break out of that too. You know, there's yeah. new stuff to do. So yeah. come on over. Dude. Let's have a bonfire. Dude, get out, get out in that that fall air. Get a fit off. Get out in the fall air. Drink some, you know, apple cider, whatever. Get to just a, get very uh, isolated. To, it's hard. To, yeah, I need I need I need to make friends. I don't know how to make friends. If it, hey, drop a comment down below. How do you make friends in a new place do with people you, you've never met before? When's the last time I either know, of you hard when made you a new friend remotely. with a new person? That's like you know what. That's like a friend that you're like, you're my friend. You're not. Uh-oh. Recently. 
No, no. I have like it's, acquaintances, but people no. that you like at work. Like, yeah, I have. I mean, I can't hang out with those people, but yeah, I was gonna say it's hard when you work remotely. I feel the same way. But I recently started to hang out with a few new people through another friend, and I feel like. If it weren't for other people that I'm hanging out with, it would be really hard, you know? Yeah. yeah. You should say, join. What about like a basketball league or like something like that? No, but like those that? aren't. He's not going to hang out with them like outside of that night. Like I was going to say my vol, like the volleyball team that I play on, I've met a handful of people, but I'm not like calling them to hang. We just like play volleyball together. Yeah. But maybe after a few seasons. Maybe. You never know. You never know. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's tough. I don't know what you're supposed to do. It's... I think it's just adult life in general. Like my parents yeah, you don't like, have you don't have an for most of my childhood, any... just had no friends, just went to work and came home and Yeah. That was their I, life. the last would be when I like a year ago when I started working this job, like the people I work in an office with, I would call actual friends, but would you ever consider uh, getting a job that requires you to go into an office like one to two days a week brody oh yeah one to two days i could do um i would consider it because that would be good for you very cushy which is nice but also leads to you know there's there can be too much comfort and it's also like could you pick up like a bartending gig on sundays when michaela's i don't want to do that I like the th- I like the thought process, but I don't want to do that. That is that's that's too much. It's a little too much of an overcorrection. Too much socialization. Oh, Something okay. dial it back. I want socialization. That's like I would be not good at that. I don't think I would be fine. But I was gonna say I, I feel get like it. You'd it's be... not that big. I, it's not that hard. I know I would be okay, but I would my uh my battery. I would be drained after each one of those shifts i yeah. if i'm if i'm around people even if i'm around like you guys my friends if it's like three days and we're just hanging and chatting i'm i'm i need to be alone for like a whole day. yeah yeah need some recharge also, the job that you have is also in a very i would assume desirable industry for yeah you like leaving that it's pretty it is cushy is a good way to put it good stuff but it could be a little more money too which is the reason that i'm sort of you know you know at least thinking about trying about thinking about but we yeah. don't have to disclose how much money i'm making right yeah now, but, uh, <laughs> before much, taxes no. what are we Tell thinking exactly <laughs> uh no not <laughs> so yeah yeah i feel what like can it's, it's hard it's hard to make friends i mean that's there's no no lie that that's a tough thing i think as an adult male you're on the right track golfing not the right season for it we're getting close to where that's not a thing but how do you ever golf? golfing with strangers like if i go play golf i'm gonna go play golf with like tommy and like you know I, i'd be hanging out more which but is still. which is part of it but still get out of you're the right. house maybe what's wrong with maybe, tommy maybe yeah what the fuck what's your problem i'm fucking I'm old, over my old that. friends i need a whole new batch i need a whole new crew i'm well, done you playing could, with you guys as a twosome you guys could go and match up with a random twosome i, I actually hate doing that but uh that would, you could do that it. just sounds awful yeah, I mean, don't do that. I take that back. That's terrible. That's uh, you're really putting it in God's hands at that point. Yeah, seventy five percent chance those guys are the worst people you've ever met. Yeah, yeah. that's tough. I mean, no, no bad ideas here. Just spitballing. Um, but I mean, we're close enough in distance that like we could do something once a month, and yeah. that might help your social battery a bit more. For yeah. sure. Yeah, you guys are like just far away enough that it's like I'm not just going to like bop over on a weeknight. You right. Know I mean, if you guys were right. 15 minutes closer, 10 minutes closer, and Tommy has to go to bed at 630 in his cryo- cryobaric chamber so that he can wake up at 4 a.m. to do his Mark Wahlberg workout and have his athletic Psychopath. greens, do his LeBron James stretches every morning. And he doesn't That's even true. have abs. He I'm stayed up. a fucking loser. Hey, don't say that to him, Brody. Is he? Is that a goal of his? <laughs> it's a sore subject. Is it really? Yes. Because I feel like when I, well, obviously it's different. You call when him fat because you, whenever you talk, whenever I talk to him, he's like, yeah, blah, blah. but you know, we lie to our friends all the time. Yeah, 
I I wouldn't call whenever it I talk to him, I get this. like a comfort thing. Like, oh, I know it's totally fine that I don't have abs. <laughs> I get I the sense abs. that he's like, I'm not really like that concerned about my diet and my drinking. And that's that's like how you get abs. Like you can work mm. out forever if you don't diet and drink. Yeah, I like, don't think that strictly. he wants to like restrict. He doesn't have uh he doesn't have six pack jeans. Right. He's uh he's a thick man. He is a thick man. Powerful build, not God, a lean build. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. speaking of thick men, let's talk about the NFL. I have so Devon A chain. Yeah. So, Want to talk about no? Raheem Mostert stealing Raheem? headlines. NFL's out. Taylor Swift's taking over the world. It's been like Ms. all Swift. I can she leave it. anything for anybody? She's just got to have Swift. She's taking the last demo. Miss Swift was seen. In the Travis Kelsey suite at Arrowhead at the Chiefs game um, with his mother sitting right next to Travis Kelsey's mother and others. I don't know who those people were, but um, not even just sitting there gaggle. all hooping and hollering and that whole gaggle of people. I just can't stop thinking about it. I, I don't even we were going to do this football. Wednesday. We were going to do this Wednesday. And I said, nay, we're talking literally about all right the now. takes would have been had. We would have yeah. no takes left to have. Right it would all now. be recycled. So, None of it would have been okay. Honest. I obviously love Taylor Swift, and I know of Travis, and I've said it before. I don't get. I don't really necessarily get the hype around Travis. He's an attractive guy, sure, like conventionally, but I don't find him to be super hot. And I think that his teeth are like a little yellow like it's fine if you don't want to get veneers but like get a fucking whitening job on those things um someone said it's his mouthpiece i think it was us i don't think it is i did but not say that but I, don't know. Yeah, I saw this clip and i can send it to you and it they just looked a little yellow but like recently I, or just at some point yeah it was like, last night at the game okay okay fair enough but I think that it's pretty cool that Taylor is like getting his name out there so like he can be a bigger name, household name. Uh yeah, I mean she is. That's a fact. <laughs> Wes's face. She's more that famous was... than Travis Kelsey. Are you saying that this is like charity work on her part or what is what are you saying? Well, like no one really knew him and now everyone fucking knows him. Yeah, no women did. Well, I mean, yeah. How, in terms of football players that girls know, I mean, he's probably in the f top five before Taylor Swift. Would you yeah, agree prior, with that? Before you answer that, prior to this last couple weeks, what did you know about Travis Kelsey or at all? Nothing. I don't even know what position but he is. You, you knew of him. You knew he existed. Yeah. Okay. See, which is which is saying something for NFL players. Like, how many NFL players can you name? Like, six, seven, probably five. Current. I would say Joe Burrow. Him. I would say Jalen Hurts. Amongst ladies, He's... top five has to be some version of like Mahomes, Burrow for sure. Burrow's number one probably. And then, like, where do you go from there? Like, they don't care after that, right? I don't Tom know. Brady. Like, and he doesn't play anymore. Um, I. Was, that was actually like just a joke, you know, like kind of went over your guys' head, but me saying like, oh, peop no one knew who he was before and now everyone knows who he was, was more so to be like, you guys would say, oh, no, he's popular, but I get it. You're saying for women, he I mean, wasn't as popular, but it's like, he's all over fucking TikTok, his podcast oh, is I blown mean, up. Make no mistake, this is... But here's good the for other Camp thing. Kelsey. Let make no mistake. And this is good. In our little bubble, since last year when he played his brother in the Super Bowl, like that's all you fucking hear about is those two. Like their mom became famous among sports yeah. people last year and was a huge thing. And now they have, I don't know, probably one of the five or six biggest sports podcasts him and his brother do. So they they've been that's, that was that's the first why time the I time heard of him. That's why the timing of all this is all a little like it seems like his his PR is peaking and we're I don't know feels like there's a 
And maybe that's just he just got famous enough to have the juice to get a text back, and that's all there is to it. But it just yeah. feels like the timing of it and all of it. It's I don't know. I'm very cynical about celebrity. You really are. You really are. Yeah. Every and one of them. not even that it's not a real relate, but you know, everything's a move. When you're that famous, every move you make is a move, whether you want it to be a move or not. Like Taylor Swift can't do anything that isn't a move, even if so. Everything if she does guys, is going to result in some sort of ripple effect across the world. If you had to guess, do you think last night is like one of the first times they've hung out? Or do you think that they've been like secretly seeing each other for a while? I mean, I kind of feel think, like it has to. I feel like they're both too busy for them to have ever really. From what I've heard, sources confirm. I've heard there's zero chance the first time they would hang out was with her mom at a game and then after a game no way that's the other reason why i feel like it seems like it's not a real relation i don't know what i saw is they were like quietly going about seeing you like had dinner a couple times and this is like two three fourth time yeah which okay i feel like yeah, he, she was with his mom, but it's also like a private box. Like, what's she going to do? Go sit in a different box or like, you know what I mean? Oh, I mean, that's the only way she can go. There was, it was Fort Knox in that fucking suite. Did you see outside of it? No. There was like 25 security guards and like no girls shit. like lined up everywhere. Yeah. I saw something and this is like just someone on the internet being like, I think that this is what this is, but they were standing outside of it and someone wheeled out like a giant cooler that was like for drinks and people thought that they had her inside of it and they were wheeling her out in it i mean that's just like some random person on the internet thinking there's a picture of her walking in she has a a hat this is after the game and a a mask on oh from the suite to like yeah players area um that's her that's her move that's her calling card i do you guys like foresee this being an ongoing thing is this a situation ship they're just having some fun he was looking at her last night like i think travis kelsey probably wants it to be i based on taylor swift's life i just can't see it she seems pretty excited about him dude she seemed like unless she's an excellent actor she seemed to be having a great time i mean yeah i don't know feels like a weird react i don't know Maybe they've been dating longer than we all know they have. I mean, it's felt What's like an so extreme weird? reaction. What's, What's she weird? supposed to do? You're so, you are cynical. I mean, she Fuck. freaked out. She lost her shit when she scored a touch. Like, I don't know. What are you supposed to do? Maybe they had know. a sex bet on it. Feels like a, maybe, you know, like a maybe six maybe month relationship like... type of reaction, not like a one week situation reaction. I think well, being there, we don't know. I think we don't know. That's true. I that's think what, that's what he, in general he, is. He, shoot, he shot his shot or whatever in july when you went to the concert yeah when yeah. she was an arrowhead yeah there's so... a delay on all of this all this podcast shit when it's coming out could be weeks a month ago and does he normally do that like archer thing after he uh does gets a touchdown uh because no because he, i mean she... he usually does a dance Okay, because she does that at her concert because she has a song called The Archer. So during that, she goes like, I've been with The Archer. Him- and then and then he did that last night. Uh, so- also, the announcer completely fumbled it when he scored that touchdown. He had nothing ready. No line. Mm. No no quip. He was like, and Taylor, Taylor Swift said, oh, baby. And I was like, mm, not I'm." Yeah, you can't. Wow. You can't ask. Especially when the game is like fifty to zero, you could just be writing stuff the entire game. You don't have to pay attention yeah, to the game at all. I've, I'm kind of over the puns already. Someone, a couple slipped in. Word, come on. We had one last. I Iron mean, Eagle did one last week. That was that was pretty. Uh, yeah, you're like yeah, a, a lot of blank space. Late. Come on. Space. Oh. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I think that I'll be really interested to see. And also, okay, his pre and post game fit, you know, like the, the matching set thing. Did you see that that's called like the 1989 mm-hmm. set? I, yeah, I, I, mean, I think no, it's all intentional. Yeah. I have no fashion sense whatsoever. I want that to be very abundantly clear. I didn't think he looked good. I thought he looked kind of silly. 
and is. I think he looks cool. I don't know. I mean, it's like when I think you're he usually does look can, cool. Yeah, you, you can, can. I guess so. you can dress like a fucking asshole and you're yeah. big, strong. Can you look guy. up his teeth for me? Because like I'm telling you, they're yellow. Right. Well, you can. That's correctable. Relax. I know. Um, so why hasn't he corrected it, Wes? That's what I'm saying. That's a fair Bitch. response. That's a fair response. He's handsome, but something about it. I think it's the buzz cut. I'm not a buzz cut girl. Yeah, I mean, he's got like he's, a. He's definitely. Oh wow! He's, sort of like, he's, he's gone, gone the wannabe, hair route before. I like black this guy hair. Energy, sort of. I like this hair. Before. Yeah, yeah, that's that, like when he was, that was in a while his ago. Catching Kelsey days. You're familiar with that, right? No, never heard well, of he that. Had a, I only he had a reality TV show, the Super Bowl, like. Like eight years ago, he when he was he did a bachelor league, style reality show. Yeah, he did a, a reality show really? called Catching Kelsey, where he was basically I think that the bachelor. Text the other day. Oh. Um. Why don't you go to where they were doing an interview of him last night pre-game? Don't like that earring either. And he like looked up at Taylor. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Just say game on the 20... What was yesterday? 24th? I think the jacket looks cool. I thought the pants look stupid. Yeah, I mean, when you wear a matching set, it's a little inherently kind of silly. but it's Especially when you're 6'5 wearing a matching set. You know, that's a lot of there's material. A, there's a video of them walking like in the the back, whatever, underneath the stadium. And... Him just walking in that fucking set, he looks like such a dipshit to me. But whatever, I think the jacket looks sweet though. But those same pants, not you see, they not were for me. They were riding in his convertible, just them yeah. Yeah. after the game. That was some real. Yeah. No, no security. Oh, you! I bet there was a fucking sprinter van close behind. Oh, that was, uh... oh we had snipers ready. Um, yeah, that's a pretty so specific famous. thing to find. But uh, as far as far as like. It's a it's very outside of the box for young Taylor. It's very different. I feel like See, that this is, is good. I think she's just trying everything. She's just sampling it all, seeing what That's she good. likes, and she's gonna crush him in pieces and sick all the Swifties on him in a couple months. And she's gonna write some song like "We threw a flag on the play, and I didn't play." Mm. And I was the chief of the tribe. <laughs> and it's wow. going to be fuckers. Bars. We were in Missouri. Yeah. And <laughs> we were going to be like, oh, Travis, what a piece of shit. Yeah. And all gonna the get fans going to be like, on. oh, you were focused on Taylor Swift. And that's why we didn't win the Super Bowl. And then yeah, this is going to be a tight, a tight wire for Travis to not come out with some, some sort say, of uh, scars here. Dare I say, I think that they could... I think that they could be serious. Like I could see them like seriously dating. Yeah, maybe. I agree. Yeah, maybe. Why not? My I my question would be why not? I think why not give Travis a chance. I think uh, they have I think it's hard to date Taylor Swift for anybody. If she went to Missouri for this man, it's no shit. Yeah. She went to Kansas City. It's new. It's fun. Missouri. Yeah. I don't know. Travis, shout out my guy Travis. Must be laying it down. Do you He's think? He's gotta be. He's gotta th- be. Dude, she's been hanging We're out not with going these to fucking... Kansas City for a random. She's dude. been hanging out with these sickly vampire diary pussy boys for decades. Mm-hmm. She just mm-hmm. got her hands on 6'5, 250, bona fide, Hall of Famer. The boy laid it down. Um the boy later. Do you think they yeah. had sex? I was going to ask sure. the same shit. For yeah, sure. dude. Taylor Swift feels like a prude to me. Maybe I'm wrong. She's not kind of listened prude. to enough of Reputation then. Oh, she's a slut. Yeah. Whore. She likes to get dicked down. A tasteful slut. Um, and yeah. I don't think she's a prude. Did I just see think that convertible they were in? They went down. I feel like you're not going to a game for a guy in a, like across the country if you've not fucked. You- and we're adults. We're fucking on the first date. You know what I mean? Like you're not doing the whole dance of like, oh, I'm going to see you for a few weeks and then we're going to fuck. Like get down to business. Yeah. You're is busy. it good or is it not? Right. Yeah, no kidding. 
Yeah, it's an event when Taylor does anything. So she's right. Uh, we're not wasting time. I can't. I'm. It must be. I think I'm in the camp of it is way more serious than we know, because her doing anything is like a global event for her to go to the suite and be on national TV with his mom and all those people. And that's, I mean, I feel like that is such a huge step out in the public life. And she's only seen if she wants to be seen. So I feel like that's just her for making sure. it like, you know, pretty fish. Their schedules will be tough. However, he plays in New York next weekend. Guess where she lives? New York. Sunday night football, baby. See you at MetLife, bitch. Let's go. Fire it up. Um, I was she's the going post game interviews right? too. Um, I think she's on a little bit of a break right now. Maybe I'm wrong. She's going at some point. Um, yeah, she's been on tour, but like, well, yeah, yeah. I, I know, but like, it's almost like the South America one, and then Europe. I just don't know, like, when you know. But post game interviews were hysterical. Yeah, I know Patrick Mahomes got some questions. Um, I don't know who else you saw, but yeah, Pat's Pat's under fire. He's he felt the pressure. Got to get yeah. Got to get the big dog some looks. The poor Bears. They're the invite your girlfriend to the game team of the NFL. Yeah, that's tough. Rough mm-hmm. scene for them. Bears yeah. on the schedule. Hey, babe, come to the game. We're gonna win by fifty. Dude, we're gonna kick the shit out of them. Yeah, that's it's amazing. That's good for good for them. I I feel like her lineup has definitely seen it's it's diverse for sure. Um I'm always kind of skeptical, but I like this enough. Joe Alwyn. I'm so curious like what he must be thinking right now because he was the one that never wanted their relationship to be like public. And now I feel like she's, you know, like she said in Bejeweled, I miss you, but I miss sparkling, baby. She wants to be out there in the spotlight. She loves being famous and she's really good at it. She's fucking great at it. She's a mastermind, some would say. Yeah. She's the best at being famous in the world right now. Nobody better. She's good at being famous. Um, Crushing it. Set an over under on, uh, on time. Time this from this point. How long was Matty Healy a thing? How long that felt like? I felt like a month, three months, two months. I don't know, two months, two, three months, maybe, maybe one or two months. Honestly, it wasn't Uh, that long. I'll go under four months. Okay, damn, under four months. I think it'll be a little bit casual, but hopefully. I'm going to go over six months. Like, Did she? I didn't follow. I'm going to the close. Super Bowl and you're in South America. Are we going to, are we going to keep dating? Are we going to, are we going to talk and text? I mean, it just seems like it's going to be hard to sustain this relationship with the, the grueling schedules that these two people at the top of their craft have, you know, world tour is a bad time for oh. a serious relationship. Yeah, but she's not on tour for like that much longer, I don't think. Is she? Is she not? I thought she's starting up the, the world tour soon, no? Yeah, she's going to Europe. Okay, but she just did South America. Is that it? I don't know. You know better than me. I, I assumed she was getting ready to start up the international okay, tour. I don't, I don't know. know. She's always well, been the fucking, she's always been the she's always been the fucking band geek that wanted the attention of the football star and now She's getting it. It feels very romance novel esque. That is what Fran on Chicks in the Office said. And I was like, I have to agree. You know, you have a football star. He is infatuated with a pop star. Shoots a shot online. She oddly receives it well. And now they're cruising around in his convertible. It to go does. Fuck. It, it does. There is this part of me where it feels like I, I love Travis Kelsey, one of my favorite players. It feels like he's enough steps below her in 
a few ways to where it's just like really bizarre to me still. Yeah. But like that's almost anyone though for her. Yeah. yeah. Like it's almost anyone. It's really I hard to wrap your head around with how famous she is. I, I don't think that there's anyone that she could date where we wouldn't think like, oh yeah, he's reaching. You know what I mean? Like Harry Styles. Yeah, but that's like it. That's like the only person. Like, right. And they've already dated. She's, exactly. Like she somehow like dated, I don't know, The Rock or something. Tom Tom Brady. Would that work? No, even still, I feel like that would be weird. He's way too old and he's a fucking creep. And that'd be a whole other set of worms. Yeah. But... I mean, I'm just in terms of fame, yeah. I mean, she's the most famous person in the world. It's, it's not even close. Man. Uh if she man. dated what's what's that? What's the Donald South Trump? Korean? That's what's close. the South what's those South Korean lads? What are Kim their Jones? names? No, BLT South. Or... Oh BLT. BLT. <laughs> yeah. BTS. Yep. Yeah. There it is. We got it. One of those guys. I mean, for me, I don't I don't know how famous they are, but they seem they seem pretty they famous. They seem pretty famous. Yeah. Pretty famous. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, they do. I think if her and Harry Styles would get back together, oh my God, can you imagine? My head would explode. Yeah, that'd be... My head would explode. Her and Obama could date. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Well, he's gay, though. Yeah. Yeah, well, only for Harry Styles. Yeah. and Which? Did you guys see that? He looked like his uh, cook died, and there was like a conspiracy that he was having gay sex with Obama, and people think the Obamas no. killed him. They killed him. Yeah. I Why think would that's the Obamas like a, kill him though? Because they, they wanted, wanted to wanted come to out squeal. that Obama's Obama's gay, I guess. And but I think that's a that's a conspiracy. But it is it's a, you really read into it. It's a little weird circumstances how he died. But, There's also a conspiracy that you know Taylor Swift is gay. So true. She had some. What was that girl's name? Carly Claus. Yeah. People call him Gaylor. Gaylor. She gives kind of lesbian vibes to me. I think she could just like, I I could see her just doing whatever. Yeah, I could see bisexual. bisexual Yeah, just like loving who she loves. Yeah, just kissing and cuddling whoever. Yeah. A little bit of scissor, a little bit of penetration. Whatever gets the job done. What if she added a girl to the situation? And Travis Kelsey hits the double lotto, and he has two girlfriends. Who who could he add to the mix? Whoa! Um, Who's Taylor Swift's friends? Does she have any famous friends that are Gigi like Gigi you know, Hadid, uh, Selena? I don't know. Could you imagine? Oh shit! Gigi. Could I imagine Brody? Could I imagine? I'm imagining, I'm imagining it right it now. Right now. <laughs> Travis Kelsey looks um, good. <laughs> He's, killer. <laughs> He's got abs. Do you think yeah. he has abs? Uh, probably not, actually. He's nah, pretty, he's got to be. He's, he's got to be pretty big. heavy guy. He's probably yeah. 260. Yeah, 250, 260. Yeah. That'd be pretty impressive if he was. He's a big man. He's got good genetics. I don't think he has that good yeah. genetics. Yeah. Just the girl's finally not taller than her fucking boyfriend. Good lord. I know. That's absolutely fantastic. I mean, Musicians. absolutely. Hip squeaks. Yeah, fucking hip squeaks is right. Can't God. have it all. Can't have it all. No, you can't. Anything yeah. um, else do? Does, oh. does this put Travis Kelsey over Rob Gronkowski as the best tight end of all time, Wes? Him dating Taylor Swift? I mean, yeah, to be fair, Rob does have a, like His wife the, is hotter. She's way less goat. famous, but she is. Way hotter. Yeah, the maybe the hottest swimsuit. woman alive. Swimsuit model. Yeah, Rob did okay for himself. I'm sure he's not. He's not worried about it. Yeah. Um, hmm. Big for the legacy, I was gonna though. say big. Change that is big. Be better anyway. But yeah, Shane's change of subject. But Pete Davidson back at it, man. Is he? What's I what's what's skied up him? to? I'm, I'm not, a, dating, not in the know. Dating Madison Beer. Which is no. just like young, hot. Isn't she like 23? I don't fucking know. I feel like uh, I thought dude. she was, but it's been like six years. And he's like, oh, yeah, she's she's been famous. She also, like she ages she was. as I do. Yeah. Yeah. She's probably like um, 27, 26 by now. Yeah. She's yeah. Really what does she do? What does she, she even do? 24. Oh, boy. I mean, what's he? 28? He's got to be like 20, he's oh, yeah. 29. He's, he's sneaky younger than you yeah, think because he started doing yeah. SNL when he was like 17. Yeah, he's yeah, like not even 30, true. so that's 
that's fine. Oh yeah, he's twenty nine. That's that's absolutely fine. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. Better age difference um, than him and Kim because Kim's like dude, what forty two. P was with Kim at like twenty eight. What a fucking legend! God, that's what a fucking iconic. legend that guy is. What a, what a fucking animal! And who's the Man. his roster who's is Kate, absurd. Kate, Kate, Kate Beckinsale. Beckinsale. Oh my what a god! Fucking, what Ariana a Grande, legend. This guy is. The it's fucking it's hash slinging slasher. My God, goodness, pipe it's for everyone. Yeah. Um, and Riz I don't really Ang. know much about her. I mean, I know she's beautiful, but I don't know much. She's about a her. model, right? Is she? Oh, a, no, she's, she's, a, a, singer, she's a singer. Right? She is. Started on TikTok, I thought. Well, yeah, she's a singer. Um, she's in that classic it's like, realm of like just really hot person. You're like, you're just, you're just kind of hot for a living. <laughs> Um, she was in the sphere of like, kind of, uh, like Addison Ray influencer yeah, era okay. of like David, David Dobrik, Corinna Koff, like the, those folks, okay. she was, sure. she was around with those like vlogging. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really know what else she does. Just being hot. She was just around being hot. Kind of speaking of vlogging, which this is again, another fucking 90 degree turn. Um, I have been so into just watching, consuming anything that Tana Mojo does. That bitch can podcast her ass off. And she it's took a turn always in going a good to way. be so intriguing. Yeah, she's she's taking a turn into like being an interesting uh I don't know if she's thoughtful is the ways. right word. Yeah, I feel feel like she got a lot of hate. I mean, justifiably so, but at the same time, she was like 17 years old. And it's like, oh, you're right. acting like a dipshit when you're 18. What is your problem? It's like, well, if I was right. a millionaire like at 17, I would probably act like a total fucking loser. And I would probably Photoshop all my pictures because I was insecure because I was 17 fucking years old. Right. But yeah, she went into she really she leaned into like being this like mega slut for a while. Was that her? Was that where yeah, she, yeah. She, she sort of tried doing like a call her daddy thing before call her yeah, daddy. Yeah, like, like an overly... Well, like she like I'm a total fans. mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Which is fine. Whatever. But I feel like she like does it better than Alex Cooper. I don't fucking like Alex Cooper, but I think that... Ooh. Yeah. Daddy gang. Like, every time I'm scrolling on TikTok much. and I hear that, it's annoying. But Tina talks a lot about like her life story now too just like sprinkles it in it's super fucked up like like i can almost imagine got, like what is it emancipated like where you try to like get away from your parents because they were like stealing your, all of her yeah. money um yeah and so i think that that's been crazy that i've been on like a binge watch especially with like with moving i would just like throw in a podcast and you know, just do my thing. Popped an Adderall yesterday. Got a fuck ton done. Dude, those are wild, right? So good. Whew. Yeah. It's like I get how people get addicted to bad shit because I was zooming around this house. Yeah. Doing everything. But just make sure you don't get focused on the wrong thing because then you'll waste four hours True. like fucking reorganizing right. your fucking uh, note you just, card yeah. from your seventh grade science class. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. That microwave mm. is clean as fuck. Something else I did yesterday, I went to like the thrift store and like tried to get a few things for the house, but um, found Guess Who at Sabres. Did you guys ever play that game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fun With game. The little, the little flip up. Faces. Yeah, so I've seen people do that, but they like do it with people from high school. Like they make the mm. cards with like people's names from high school. Nice. Cool pictures, okay. Or just like mutual people, like little characters in your life that you still talk about or whatever. So we're doing that this weekend, which is going to be so fun. Me and Kayla, Paul's girlfriend. Um, that will be fun. I've seen a version of that too. I've heard of people doing that. It's it's a good, it's a fun idea. I think someone may have. I don't know who it was. Maybe it was probably on YouTube. I don't fucking know. But they like gifted it to someone. It's like a oh, that's but it was idea. uh yeah, it was good. It's a cool idea. Send, it sounds send so pics. Fun. I'm sure you'll post them. That'll that'll be. I probably won't. Be... No, because I don't want people from high school to be like, "What the fuck?" Oh, they're talking about me. You're gonna yeah. do it from like high school, like Lebanon, wherever you're from. I didn't go to Lebanon. I was gonna say, but you I know. I said wherever. Did you and Kayla from. go to the same high school? Next yeah. door. Oh, Kayla and I, I have know known that. each other since we were like 10. Oh, damn. Um, I didn't know that. 
You didn't? No, I didn't know you'd known each other that long. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like we have so many mutuals that it's going to make it really funny, so I'm excited. Um, what else is on the docket? You guys got any exciting things coming up? Um, I got a lot of weddings. There, I I like weddings. I don't like weddings when you're like a tertiary person at the wedding. It's I I, you, I feel uncomfortable. What's that you know word? What I mean? Meaning like you're there with your partner who knows people at the wedding, and you're just sort of like mm, you're there, like a like, lawn gnome. Yeah, What's that word. <laughs> yeah, secondary, tertiary, three, turkeyary, turkey, yeah. turkey Terry, turkey. Thir- yeah. Turkey Mary. Sorry, I'll du- I'll dumb it down. I'll 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 tone it down. For well, I'm just saying. I'm just you know, just want to keep the conversation. Um, going. Um, well, on Halloween's the 13th, around the corner. Halloween fucking sucks. Thoughts. Okay, so October, there's a Friday the 13th, and we're gonna have a scary movie night here, and I'm gonna have themed cocktails. So you should. I'm going come to over. see Friday the 13th at the old Alamo. The the movie. The original, so that'll be. Fun. It's. I don't, it's. I don't think it's on Friday the Thirteenth. On Friday. Just, the, oh. At some point, I'm going. It, I didn't check, but the movie is playing. I'm going to go see it. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's on that day, but. Got it. Okay. My so movie well, theater the offers out time. there. I'll probably take you up on that. Um. Yeah. Football's really cutting into my movie theater time, yeah, which is football probably a big rules. source. Big source of my sadness. Do you Man, guys yeah. like to go to bars and watch football? No, Not really. I like to want to hear the announcers. No, I just I like uh, to be able to watch exactly the game I want and watch like all the games at once. Yeah. Um, you know, my TV you can split it. You have a uh, yeah YouTube TV. YouTube TV. I have that you as can, well. Like, I have that as well. Oh, you can do it on white YouTube TV. I didn't know that. I thought that was just my thing. TV. That is uh, here's uh, I'm not because I can have like YouTube here. TV pulled up and watch a YouTube video at the same time. Mm, mm, I see. Nice. I don't know if I can do that. Maybe I. I'm not sure. They've been so far. They in the past, not YouTube TV, but just general. You've been able to do a version of that, but they have like so much shit going on outside of it. Oh. They've finally like just put the pictures next to each other rather than. Here's my beef for game my, for games at least. Yeah, with the college football ones, they only have pre-made foursomes. You can't just plug in whichever games you want, Why? Why? which is annoying, Why? and it's never like. They don't have one that's like CBS, Fox, ESPN, ABC. It's like, well, you're going to mix in North Texas versus UTSA is one of the. It's like I don't want to just let me watch the four. No one wants to watch that. No one wants to watch. I don't know. Sometimes when I'm gambling, I do. But like, how is one of the base options? How's one of the base options not the four main channels? Seems silly. It does seem silly. They have like a hundred different options, and one of the options is just not that. Now, is this for? A while, for I, was like, I was gonna say, is this for games only, or could I like watch? I got Paradise on. I got my um, football on. No, I think. I've got see, it's all pre-programmed, mine. so it's only sports. I think yours. What is your That's your TV does that. It's not yeah. like this is like YouTube oh. TV fu- is a function. Yours, I assume, it's that's basically like, your like television set. Yeah, because I could have like two apps open on the TV. Yeah, which is nice. right, right. Which I never fucking right. use it really, but right. awesome. Right. And any anything yeah, think... coming up for you, Wes? Besides just being no. alone or watching football? No, I have a really fun golf outing. I'm going to go play with my dad in this weekend, um... coinciding with the Ryder Cup. We're doing our own Ryder Cup, a little little match play event all weekend. Taking a day okay. off and doing that. That'll be really fun. Fine. Look forward to that every year. Yep. Really good time. I don't know what a Ryder Cup is. Um, every two years, the USA and European teams pick players to play against each other in a, in a big match. Uh, so okay. the golf course that my dad's a member at also does that. They have teams of 10 and they play like matches against each other and i'm okay. playing in that this weekend so well that's fun stan. um it will be very fun me and stan are fucking taking it to these guys all right send him my love what's I the what's you're the sending format? it to him right now he's probably listening oh, stan, what's, what's the format good luck. For this? how how are you um, how are you being implemented saturday everyone plays every um every session i suppose it's it's a long day let me just say there's two days saturday sunday 
Oh, wow. You play 18 in the morning and afternoon, both days. It's um, best ball and then scramble the first two days, and then alternate shot and singles on Sunday. And you play against other teams on the other the other side. But there's like matchups. It's not just like 10 v 10. Yeah. Oh, there's you're in a twosome yeah. versus another twosome. Two on two. Then... Yeah. It's five matches of two on two. And then yeah. singles is one on one, 10 matches of one on one. It's going to be. Sick. And everyone plays both. Everyone yeah, plays, everyone plays and... all of the. Yeah. Sounds like a yeah. lot of golf, but that sounds fun. It's an egregious amount of golf. 36 holes both days. My hands will maybe be bloody, but it'll be worth it. It'll be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Do you think you're going to well, win? Um, the teams, from what I can tell, based on like handicap and like playing with most of the guys, are very even. So that sh- it should be good. Depends on who who comes. Who comes? How do to you, play, you know? divide? It's it's everyone plays um, in the same course, or is it another course? Yeah, it's everyone. In? Everyone is almost everyone are members there. I'm technically not, I suppose, but um, yeah, everyone's a member. They used to do you just draft. They used to do 12 guys and they would go to a neighboring town and play and they would That seems Saturday, cool. Saturday would be at one course and Sunday would be at the other course. Um but they whipped the shit out of the other town and they wouldn't come mm. back for more. Mm. So it can get a little it, it can get a little lopsided, but we try to make these teams fair so it's fun. Um yeah, you kind of draft, you have like my my cousin is one of the uh, captains, whatever you want to call it, and like I'm on his team and like my dad's on his team. Do you so and Stan like, get matching polos? Because maybe you should. For Sunday, we have uh, team polos. So nice. We're, we have a dress code. Yes. Where we will be for, you know, photograph purposes, of course. Amazing. And yes, well, we will be in, in team, team gear. Amazing. Well, yeah, you have so yourselves a good time. I will. We'll have a great time. Um, yeah, other than that, getting together with the pals in a, a couple months or something soon. Um, yeah, other than that, not, not other than that. A lot of ball. Uh, Rams prediction for tonight, Wes, playing the Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> on the I field, think? on the field, winning the game, covering the number, t- winning the game. Burrow's hurt. We're going to fuck him up. Are you going to be That's watching it. your boyfriend, Joe Burrow, tonight, Bobby? He's injured. You need to nurse him back to health. He's got a little um, cap is that a, Who is Joe Burrow's team playing? The My Los Rams. Angeles Rams. No, no. But the yeah, the Eagles also play before them, or I guess simultaneously, kind of. Currently on, yeah. Oh well, I don't know. Probably not. Um, uh, there's the premiere of what's it called? Trailer in Paradise Rangers or something. Oh, oh. Uh, premiere of what? Jojo Siwa's on it, and like Tyler Cameron, Nick Vial. It's Perfect premiere Strangers tonight. It? No, it's like that, like military, like. Oh, where like they're like, called? they do like Navy SEAL training, but they're yeah. like something like that. I'm gonna oh. watch that. I think. <laughs> okay. Sounds not fun. Probably, probably, I'll probably won't. I'll probably have you update me on it, and uh, maybe try to sell me on it. I first. Jojo's... What's it called? First responders. I don't know. Uh, fucking Tyler, Tyler Army veterans fucking for all the folks PTSD. I don't know. For all the p- folks clamoring uh, for more batch content, special, when is the premiere? Special forces. Hell Man, yeah, dude, you're fucking ripped, jacked as fuck. Um, when's the premiere? I could go on the show. Batch in real. Paradise, Bob. Uh, Thursday, right? This week? You oh, tell me. Shit. I don't know. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, bitch. All right. Pretty All sure right. I'll we'll text you. We'll Can I give watching. a maybe a hot take? The Golden Bachelor guy, not old enough. I need him older. He's How old is he? Young. Is he like bro? is he like fifty? He's like sixty. He's sixty something. I need mm-hmm. I need older. Too young. Matt I James's mom's him. looking pretty good too. She's on it. The people aren't old enough. I need them older. Yeah, premieres this Thursday. Wes. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Paradiso Bachelor in uh, okay, I'm yeah, that's... starving. I need yeah, food. Me we too. have to go. Same. Yeah, let's Didn't get out of make... here. It was right, good. Uh, that's enough. Good first pod back. Is... Season three's kicked off. Season Appreciate three, you baby. See you later, okay, maybe everybody. Maybe I should do something for the thumbnail. Oh, the thumbnail is going to be us and fucking Trav and Taylor, obviously. 
What do they do in Germany? So they do three. Have you ever seen Inglorious Bastards, dude? That's how he gets caught. You ever seen the TikToks where they ask guys to put up the number three and they're all like this? Oh, that's weird. No one does instead that. Of, in, instead of doing this? No, they do they, this, right? They do this. They do Look this. That finger. Or the short ass finger. This. Or this. I feel like this makes more sense. Or what about this? They never do this. 